so I'm talking about music again. Um, this time I wanted to talk about a particular song, which is a song I really like. That's uh, I Love You Like a Love Song by Selena Gomez. This song sticks on my head, like, constantly. Uh, <laughs> I love it, but, like, sometimes it gets tiring just because it never leaves. And, um, I just, I think it's a great song compositionally, lyrically, uh, the sentiment behind it. I think it's just genuinely a fantastic three-minute pop song from start to finish, and I've listened to it so much, I know it front to back, and, um, I think it has some really interesting lyrics, um, definitely comparing the sensation of being in love to like listening to a favorite pop song, um, and even comparing the object of her affection to music itself or records, uh, you know, including a line that says, you know, you stand alone compared to every record I own or something like that. Something, you know, I, I had a feel of good lyrics right in front of me. I think it's definitely, <clears throat> definitely a fantastic slice of, uh, vocal comp pop and, uh, shows her talent as a vocalist, which I, I think so often she gets kind of robbed the opportunity to do so because I think she's genuinely a good singer and just tends to like give be given songs that really don't you know vibe very well or kind of use her talents to the fullest extent and I think that's a shame because she has a good voice and uh, just and she has good songs here and there but I think she definitely has a lot of duds in her discography and I find that just kind of sad because <laughs> she's really talented you know and uh, I think you know when given the opportunity she can sing very well and this is like I saw I think actually perfectly kind of showcases that and showcases like what a kind of a dynamic range her voice can have when she's given good material it's a good song the lyrics are good and uh, most importantly for a pop song it's catchy it sticks in your head and you don't get tired of listening to it I mean at least I don't and I understand how that may not be everyone and I'm not saying like I like every pop song I've ever written. I do like a lot of them, but I don't like all of them. And that's also not saying I like every pop artist. Certainly not the case because there's a lot of pop singers that I'm not a fan of and I've never cared for any of their music. Um, but that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I definitely recommend if you haven't listened to this song, I definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's a good song. I, I think it's just a fun, catchy listen. And actually has some surprisingly poetic lyrics. And she also has had some other good songs like Can't Keep My Hands to Myself, Me and the Rhythm. Those are two excellent songs as well. Um, I, uh, I think I think like that those two and uh, this one, Love You Like a Love Song, are her best songs. And they're my personal favorites. Um, but just, it's like, and also just the way she sings with the melody, like it sticks out my head, you know. The chorus has like these kind of rising and falling uh, notes as she hits, you know, she, you know, like, and then just like kind of the stuttering part of the first line. It's like I, I love you like a love song, baby. It's like, I love you like how it hits those like beats. It's like I love you like a love song, baby. Like it kind of rides that rhythm and it hits those those beats each time. It's very fun and just a really good song. I, I don't really have much else to say about it, except just go check it out. <laughs> it's, um, I didn't have a lot to say, it's just going to be a short little video today, so there we go. Check it out, um, you know, check out the other stuff, and um, I guess that's it for today. So, so I'll see you next time. Catch you later.